It's happened again. Someone's car plowed into a Spanish Ford business at the intersection of highways 90 and 98. As News 5's Chad Petrie reports, now there are calls to fix what some are calling a dangerous traffic spot. This handset was stretched. Dr. Richard Snellgrove shows me how far the desk phone was embedded into a wall and some of the other damage around his Spanish Ford office. The accident happened early Saturday morning. I got a phone call about 4 o'clock in the morning from Barry Booth, who's the owner of the building, saying, basically he said, it's happened again. And I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Eastern Shore Internal Medicine is right next door to Edward Jones, the same office where another driver plowed through their front door in the middle of the night two weeks ago. It's very unusual to have the same kind of accident happen in the same office park in such a short amount of time, almost impossible. I have no idea, but somebody needs to go to Biloxi. <laughs> now attention turns to the intersection of these highways. Obviously something needs to be done up here uh, with regard to either a barricade or uh, lighting or signage or something like that. At least one county commissioner agrees. Uh, what I did over the weekend when we responded to this was um, send an email to Vince Calmetti with ALDOT to check and see if they put some sort of barrier up here to try to stop uh, anything from happening like this in the future. This morning, cleanup crews tried digging out the rubble. Let's just get in here and take it apart bit by bit and uh, get it in a dumpster and get it cleaned out so you can see what the damage is. The rear wall bulges out, showing how far the car got through the office. Dr. Snellgrove says patients have to head to his Fairhope office for the time being. In Spanish Fort, Chad Petrie, News 5. We don't have any information on the driver who hit the doctor's office. Spanish Fort's police chief says no one was behind the wheel when police arrived. The accident is still under investigation and charges may be pending.